So I'm going to put this out there. And at this point, I'm still considering it, even though it's, it's a single source with an anonymous corroboration that's not necessarily good enough. I'm going to put this at about 50-50, being accurate. But it's juicy enough. And here's the important part. It passes the smell test. And I'll explain why. So this single source article comes from, or article, this single source report comes from Bad Ombre, uh, an ex-user with about 100,000 followers. Bad Ombre has, has had some scoops in the past, which is one of the reasons why I do believe there's at least a 50-50 chance it's correct, it's accurate. Um, this this ex-user has had some scoops. Uh, sometimes those scoops have been wrong. <laughs> so that's why I'm not at a higher than 50-50 chance. But let's let's go with it. Here's the, the report itself. Let's just go straight into it. Major drama within the Kamala Harris campaign this morning. A source reveals that Harris screamed at and angrily berated her campaign manager, Julie Chavez, for over 30 minutes on the phone this morning. The source shares that Chavez advised Kamala not to attend the Al Smith dinner because it could send the wrong message and risk alienating LGBTQ and pro-abortion voters if she was seen cozying up to the Catholics. Now that uh, there's more, but uh, I'll get to that. But, but that that right there that passes the smell test. That's that literally sounds like something that could have very conceivably happened. There's no surprise there. Knowing what we know about Kamala, knowing that she had the the at ninety percent she had the highest and most rapid staff turnover in vice presidential history. Knowing that she has built up a reputation of berating her staff of belittling her staff, of blaming her staff for her own flaws, her own mistakes. She has done that. And this is, again, corroborated. That's that's the truth. That's coming from her own people or former people. So we know that. So, so when you see a story like this, it's like, yeah, passes the smell test. Let's keep going with what it says, though. Instead, Chavez suggested a compromise of sending in the poorly received video in lieu of an in-person appearance in that poorly received video was a debacle. If you haven't seen it, don't. It's not worth it. It's it, it will literally make you stupider as a human being if you spend the three minutes or however long it was watching that that video. Chavez was in tears during the phone call as Kamala sh shredded her to pieces, called her an idiot, inept, horrible at her effing job, and told her that her stupid advice is going to be the reason she loses. The joy is gone. To reiterate, single source, no corroboration outside of a couple of small news outlets, one medium-sized news outlet, and a whole bunch of semi-respectable Twitter. I think Ryan Fournier retweeted it, or at least posted about it. But again, just because multiple people are reporting on the same report doesn't mean that there's any corroboration. They're all just repeating the same thing. You know, different variation of or different analysis of... I can't, don't, don't count me as a source because all I've got is my anonymous source that said, yeah, Kamala wasn't happy and blamed Julie for it. That's, that's what my source said. And then I saw this. So take from it what you will. Again, knowing what we know about Kamala, knowing this passes the smell test, knowing that it was a huge mistake for her not to go and perhaps an even bigger mistake for her to make that ludicrous cringeworthy video. I'm at 50, 50 on this one. The two best places to keep up with my work are my X count at JD Rucker or my Substack, JD Rucker dot Substack dot com, JD Rucker dot Substack dot com.